Hello again! We're making a slipper and um, so far we've done started working on the second slipper we finished the little triangle at the beginning and the triangle is the back of the heel for the finished slipper and then after you finish the triangle you add 10 stitches this way and then on the next row you add 10 stitches that way and then you just continue straight knitting all across here <coughs> When we finished the first section, we had to put a marker there. And then when we finished the second section, we put markers at each end. And now we're at the next section that says knit for a further three and a half inches. So what I did is I just placed my little seam guide here from my old sewing days. I'm using that to mark my three and a half inches. And there I am. I'm just now at three and a half inches. And now I'm ready for the section of the pattern that says Shape Toe. Just so you know, this is the pattern we're doing, the Bernat Super Value Men's and Ladies Slippers to Knit. And we're using um, worsted weight yarn. I'm using blue as my main color, and I'm using scraps of yarn for the second color. And you can see where I've tied on each scrap as I've changed color. And when I finish, I'm going to untie those knots and weave those in. But for now, I'm just going to leave them like they are. <clears throat> so now I'm at the point where we're ready to shape the toe and that is this part of course so we're going to start decreasing so that we end up with a smaller amount and then we're going to tie that real tight and then we'll stitch across the top so and then the last part will be to stitch the back heel around that little corner so we're shaping the toe now so we don't have so many stitches <clears throat> first row is knit three. Oh, and when you finish the last section it said to end with a wrong side row <laughs> I think these two, these two look exactly alike so I don't think the world's going to end if we missed it by one row so don't worry about if it's a right side or a wrong side just start the next row Scarter stitch. It's the same on both sides. Knit three. One, two, three. And then knit two together. <coughs> Pardon my throat. I've got, I think I've got a little bit of code. Now we knit three again. And then it says to repeat from the asterisk to the end of the row. And that just means you knit two, I mean, you knit two together and then knit three. So we started off with knit three, we knit two together, and now I'm doing knit three. So now I'm going to do knit two together, knit three, over and over again. Until I get to the end of that row. So now I'm ready for knit two together. <coughs> now I need to knit three. One. Three. Knit two together. And knit three. Two. Three. <coughs> knit two together. And knit three. together and knit three <coughs> there now it says at the end of this row you should have 23 stitches so let's count and make sure that's what we have we have two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen 18, 20, 23. Yay! <coughs> now the second row we knit. And we need to remember that on the fourth row we're going to knit also. So this is just knit every stitch for row two. <coughs> okay. 
someone had asked if um, you can use the same color for both strands instead of using scraps. Of course you can. You can use any color you want. You can use purple and purple or red and green or orange and black. Whatever color combination you want. If you want the same color used for both strands <clears throat> it would be easier if you had two skeins of the same color. Some people will also do where they use one skein and they'll pull a strand from the inside of the ball and from the outside of the ball at the same time, but I've never been very successful with that. I always end up with a big tangle, but if that's what you like to do, you go right ahead. <coughs> that was row two. Now I'm ready for row three. As long as you have two strands of yarn, worsted weight yarn, then you can make these slippers. You could also use a thicker yarn if you want as long as it works to the same gauge. So all you'd have to do is knit a swatch and um, measure how many stitches per inch you get. <coughs> and if you want to use a thicker yarn you can do that and just use one strand. But that's your decision. Alright now I'm on the third row. It says knit three, knit two together, knit two. And then we repeat from the asterisk to the end of the row. So after we do the knit three We'll do knit two together, knit two, knit two together, knit two, over and over again. <coughs> so here's the three at the beginning. Now we'll knit two together, knit two. <coughs> One, two. I've enjoyed making these slippers. I hope you have. I like how fast they are, and I like how warm and comfortable they are when you finish them. <clears throat> when I made my slippers, I intended to make a pair of warm slippers for myself, but they turned out a little bit too big, so I think I'm going to have to give them to one of my sons. So, three, knit two together, knit two, knit two together, knit two. All right, now I'm ready for a knit two together. <coughs> So I don't get them. We, I guess I'll have to make another pair with size 10 needles. Because remember, I used size 11, thinking that I wasn't a tight knitter. But that's the way it goes sometimes. So I'll have to make another pair just for me using size 10. But the exciting part is that I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to be able to pick my colors of yarn that I want. Yay! I wonder which I'm going to use. What colors have you chosen? I can't wait to read and see what colors y'all have put together for your slippers or if you used scraps like I did. <coughs> I'm glad I used scraps because they were just, you know, sitting around. All right, there. I'm at the end of that row. Wait a minute. Let's make sure that I did that right. Yes. So now it says I should have 18 stitches. So let's count these. I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Yay! <clears throat> so now I'm ready for row 4. And remember, row 4, not row 5. So row 4 says knit. So don't skip that. We're not ready for row 5 yet. Just go knit. Knit row 4. So I wonder who's going to end up getting these slippers. Hmm. That'll be interesting to find out. I need to think of somebody that has big feet. <coughs> I'll figure it out. Got a few different choices. So we shall see. <coughs> there, now we're finished with row four. Now I'm ready for row five. And row five says knit two together, knit one, and then repeat those two things to the end of the row. We're not going to have very many stitches left at the end of this. Knit. Arr. It's hard to do the first one as I knit two together. 
especially when you're reaching around the camera. <laughs> knit two together. Knit one. <coughs> knit two together. Knit one. Knit two together. Knit one. Knit two together. Knit one. <coughs> Two together. One. Two together. One. <clears throat> now I'm ready for row six. Now somebody asked me what knitting needles I'm using. I am using Denise needles, the interchangeable, the ones where it comes loose like that. <clears throat> And um, mine are the colored needles I got from Knitting Help from my friend Amy. <clears throat> Row six, knit two together six times. I didn't count the stitches this time, but I think we're all right. So I'm just going to be knitting two together. One time, two times, three times, there, four times. Five times and six times. <laughs> that ain't working too well. There. Nice. Did it. Woohoo. So now it says I should have six stitches, and that's what I have. So we're at the two. So if you want, you can fold it in half and compare it to the size of the one you made before. Yay, we're the same size. Awesome. Life is good. So now I can break the yarn leaving a long end. And the reason you want to leave a long end is because I'm going to run it through those stitches and pull it tight and then I'm going to seam across up to here with it. So I need to pull out probably, uh, I'm going to pull out about 20 inches. Make sure I have 20 inches. Eh, I think I'll pull a little bit more just in case. Can't hurt to have a little bit of extra. There, I'm going to cut that with my little nippers. <clears throat> Set the rest of it aside, just in case I need it later. And now I need a knitting, a, a yarn needle, which my bag I didn't have it ready. So I will make another video showing how to finish these up. And that's it. See you in the next video. Bye.